What's up, Cal gang? All right, so we got the statics problem today. So we have this shape, it's a 3D shape, and it wants us to find the volume of the shape and the surface area of the shape. And the method we're gonna use is we're gonna take a cross section, and then we're gonna find the volume, or then we're gonna find the area of this, and then we're gonna rotate it 360. So that method is gonna be using these two formulas here, so let's just get started. So I went ahead and drew the flat image of this, and we know that we're gonna rotate it, theta, is equal to two pi, right? Because that's a full rotation around the axis. So that's the rotation that we're gonna use. And so we just need to go ahead and use these equations to find out. So let's start with the surface area. So when we have the surface area, we wanna only consider the, the parts that are gonna be on the outside. So if we're doing just the surface area, we can basically get rid of this line. Actually, no, we need that line, but we can get rid of this line. Let me redraw that one. Right, because this is the axis that we're rotating around, we're rotating across here. So it's gonna get flipped all around, so this is not gonna be part of the surface area, but all of the rest of this is. So now, we're gonna use the areas of line. So this equation says, we're gonna take theta, which is two pi, multiply it by r uh, hat, which, so what is r bar? So that is the distance from the axis to the center of mass. So now we need to find the center of each one of these lines. So this is gonna be easy enough. So for this line, let's label these lines, of course. So this is gonna be line one, this is line two, this is line three, and this last one down here is line four. So the center of each one of these, uh, this one is this distance. This center of mass is gonna be about there, so it's gonna be about that distance. This one's gonna be halfway through the line, so it's gonna be about that distance, and then this one's gonna be halfway here. So it's gonna be that distance. So visually, we can just tell that this is going to be 7.5 inches. This is going to be 15 inches from the y-axis. This is going to be 15 inches plus half of 15 inches. So this is going to be 22.5 inches. And then this one is going to be half of 30 inches, which is 15 inches. So we found all of our r's. So now we just need to find the lengths of each one of these, which is also pretty easy because we're basically given to us. So now what we have to do is use our formula. So let's use the formula for this. So we're using the area formula, so area is equal to, so two pi is our distance, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna add up each one of these. So it's gonna be the radius from the, from the axis that we're rotating around to the center of mass, multiply it by its length, and then we're gonna add up each one of those. So let's start with the first one. So starting with one, we know it's 7.5, and then its length, right, is 15 inches, because it's 15 inches in length, it tells us, so 15. Right, so then let's do our next one. So we're starting at two, so we know our radius is now 15 inches. So 15 inches times its length. So its length is 18 inches is given to us in the drawing. So 18 inches. Next one, so this is 2.25 is its radius. So 2.2, or 22.5, not 2.25. 22.5, and now its length. So its length is now, it's a diagonal. So we need to do the Pythagoras theorem to find the length of this. So we know that uh, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, so we know that c is equal to the square root of a squared plus b squared, which in this case, a squared is gonna be this 20 inches, and b squared is gonna be this 15 inches, right? Because if we draw a line down here, we know that that is 15 inches. So let's just plug it right in here. So we say that a is 20 squared, and then b is 15 squared, and that's gonna give us that length there. Nice, and then our last one, segment four, we said r of four is 15 inches, so we've done 15, and then we're multiplying 15 by the length of it, which is 30 inches. Nice. So that's our equation right there. Go ahead and plug that in, and you're gonna get that area is equal to 8,765 inches squared. All right, so we went ahead and did part one. So now let's go ahead and do part two. So I'm gonna erase all of this all this green stuff at least. And we're gonna go ahead and find part two. So this time we're using volume. So we're doing volume, it's gonna be that volume formula up there. So what we need to find this time is the, the radius is now just gonna become the distance to the center of mass of the shape, and the area is just gonna be the area of the shape. So all the time when we have a problem like this, we wanna basically break it up into simple shapes because this shape is a little complex and it's gonna be a little harder to find the center mass of this big shape. 
So the best way we can do it is to break it down into simple shapes. So the simplest shapes I can find here is we're going to just draw a line here, and we're going to have this triangle and this rectangle. So let's label this one segment one, and this is going to be segment two. So now we need to find the center of mass. So the center of mass of this rectangle is obviously going to be here. And then for this triangle, we're doing it with respect to the y-axis. So we know that the center of mass of a triangle is a third of the way down from the top. So that's going to be about a third of the way down. So we can draw it kind of about here. And we know that it's going to be a third of that distance. So what are these distances now? So we're looking for this distance. So this distance is half of 15. So that's just going to be 7.5 inches. And then this distance is going to be what? So it's going to be 15 inches plus a third of this last 15 inches. So it's going to be 20 inches, right? Because it's 15 plus 5. Nice. So not too complicated. So let's go ahead and do it. So now we're going to use the formula for volume. So volume, again, is going to be the 2 pi. And then we're going to sum up everything on the inside. So let's start with the segment 1, the rectangle. So it's r is going to be 7.5 inches. And then it's area, so we need to find the area of this rectangle. So it's easy enough, right? It's this 15 inches multiplied by its height, so 15 times 38. 15 times 38. Nice. So then we're going to add to the next one. So we found that its r is 20. And then now we have a triangle. So of course the area of a triangle is length times width divided by 2. So it's 15 wide here, 20 tall. So it's going to be 15 times 20 divided by 2. Alright, so make sure I get that equation right. 15 times 38 plus 20, 15 times 20, 15. Nice, so we did it right. So then the volume of this rotation in 3D is equal to 45,710 inches cubed. And there you go, so that's the answer to the problem. So it's not too tricky of a question, it's just about making sure to draw your diagram right and knowing where to go on each equation. So yeah, if you have any questions on statics homework, feel free to check out my playlist and leave any questions in the comments below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.